What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. And we have some fairly breaking news to discuss here, folks, over the past 24 hours of significance regarding what looks like a future New York Mets prospect signing near future, as the report initially came out through Jansen Pujols, that in translation, as you see, Juan Soto, the best hitter in baseball, will continue to be his younger brother. That being an Elion Soto is looking to sign with the New York Mets once he's able to. Next year, the signing period for international free agents begins in around January 15th of 2022, but the signing might not happen here until around July 2nd of 2022. But no less, a lot to break down on everything that there is to know about Soto's younger brother, his game, what we know at this point, how significant actually is this, and also the connection with Juan Soto, and this could potentially dictate anything with his future at all and so much more so as always folks make sure you stay all the way till the end of the video for all the details and all my thoughts on Elian Soto and his game and also Juan Soto's connection here and all of this and again folks if you find yourself enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on train this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you all so much for the continued support folks now let's jump right into today's video all right, folks, so like many of you, when I initially saw that report, there was a lot of questions as to, okay, is this actually credible? Does this make sense? Because normally when you have something leaked like this for not just an international prospect, but someone that's currently at the age of 15, he can't even like legally sign yet until he's 16, which would be next year. A little bit head scratching, right? But then further reports came out earlier today as well from SNY reaffirming this was come out and of course the biggest source himself is yes Juan Soto's brother that being Elion or the past 24 hours he posted on Instagram a little highlight reel video of himself as you guys see here all decked out in a Mets outfit which you absolutely love to see with the caption being are you excited are you ready for 2022 so yes all indications are that Juan Soto's younger brother is going to be coming to Queens and exactly who is Elion well that's the big thing when you get someone like him who's your international prospect it's very hard to find information what we know at this point is that he is a lefty bat. He's someone that's known to be playing in the outfield like his brother Juan, but also someone that can play at third base to this point has a very strong bat as you see here. And there's a lot of comparisons as to a little bit with his brother and Juan when you look at them side by side. So yes, he has a pretty swing. I like that a lot. And naturally, when you see the fact that even without the statistics, even without the measurements of all these things right now knowing that you're going out of your way to sign Juan Soto's younger brother is a big deal because Juan Soto isn't just any player in the league he is the best hitter in baseball I don't think that's really a hot take I, I don't think that takes a rocket scientist to figure it out and he's only in his early 20s so knowing that the Mets are snagging his younger brother at the age of 15 he'll be 16 when he signs of course tells you that yes they're going to continue to take advantage of the international market something that they've done in previous years they've had some great success as we know over the years scouting for international prospects if you look at this list here of some very notable names at the same ages of 16 to 17 yes they got jose reyes yes they even got some names that didn't thrive with the mets because they give up on them too soon or out of falling out with the nelson cruises of the world the carlos gomez's etc but again a lot of players the mets have snagged at the age of 16 17 as international prospects prospects so this is huge to get someone like Juan Soto's brother because even though we don't exactly know what his ceiling is going to be what we do know at this point is that when you have the chance the ability which is exactly what he's having right now with Juan to work every day with the best hitter in baseball during the offseason with your family to really try to get the best out of your swing with Soto not just having a devastating swing but just a devastating approach at the plate as it is he's not just cocky but he's confident and that's going to rub off I'm sure it has already on his younger brother here so these are all great things all great signs going forward for the development for the kid because again it's the equivalent to like anything else if you're going to say be a younger brother of a Mike Trout or any other top player in the league odds are that's going to bode you well and these are lofty expectations that they're going to live up to them I do not expect his younger brother to be up to Juan's level of a player that would be amazing but that's not something I'm betting on but he has all the resources and he has the person next to him year in a year out day in and day out to help him be the best player he can possibly be along with his father and helping them with the development and all these great things so yes he has a great supporting cast it doesn't get any better than this if you're part of the Juan Soto family I think that's definitely going to bode you well and then you also have to think of the connection now what with Juan right how does this benefit the Mets with potentially going after him because as we know Juan Soto is a free agent after the 2025 season and yes the Nationals for sure want to extend him to a massive long-term extension probably something like the Fernando Tatis deal but Juan, who's a Scott Boris client, is probably going to hit the market, I would say, unless the Nationals really sell him or give him money that he simply can't refu 
reduced, something along those lines. So I think there's a very solid chance Juan Soto does hit the market. And the Mets, of course, the richest team in baseball will be involved there. So if you have his brother, say four years from now, 1920, that could be potentially making an impact on the Mets already. If not, I'd, I'd assume he's either going to be in double A or upwards in the league. Because I know Juan Soto, for doing comparisons in that sense, went from being in double A all the way to the bigs as a 19 year old and then help uh, get the Nationals to win a championship in 2019. So if you have similar development with him really thriving, that's going to bode them unbelievably well to potentially have them pair together. And boy, oh boy, wouldn't that be insane? Just the thought of the two Soto brothers in the same outfield for the Mets. Again, I'm not getting ahead of myself here. I'm not trying to compare the two. I want uh, his younger brother to really be his best self. I want Elion to be Elion Soto. I don't want to be Juan Soto, right? It's easy to do these comps and say that, oh goodness, they're going to be this next thing. No, that's lofty. We have to try to, you know, sell them down a bit. We'll see what his development is going to be. But again, just knowing these connections right now, knowing also that Juan Soto, when you think about his connection with the Mets, did come out with a rather cryptic post that we discussed previously in live streams months ago when the, uh, the Nationals came to town to Queens to face the Mets in 2021. Came out with this post on Instagram saying in hashtags, you know, New York and future. And a lot of people were believing that, oh my goodness, you want come to the Mets or the Yankees once he's a free agent and because of all those rumors swirling he then took down those hashtags not too long after he originally posted that so I'm not sure what's going to come of that all I know is that if he does become a free agent you can rest assured the Mets are definitely going to go all in on him and yes if you have his younger brother and he's developing well I don't see how that is going to be anything short of a positive thing and trying to land them and have them together but that's really going to do it for this one folks let me know all your thoughts in the comments below as always how do you feel about Elion Soto coming to the New York Mets going to sign some point next year to be at the next potential top international prospect for the Mets. We'll see how he develops and how do you like the fact that yes, he is of course Juan Soto's younger brother. Let me know all your thoughts as always folks and again, if you enjoy this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe button, sharing this video with your friends, follow the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you all so much guys. It's been a whirlwind of a 2021. We have grown so much on the channel and just this first year of doing Wardy NYM, it's all because of you that made this possible. So to say I'm grateful it's truly an understatement. I hope you guys all have a very happy and safe new year. Excited to see what 2022 is going to bring as we continue to just keep doing great things here on Wardy NYM. So thank you again, folks, for everything. Really does mean the world to me. And I'll talk to you soon. Let's go Mets, baby.